by the time I'd finished the print works, that was I'd come here. Yeah. I I moved my house and moved my job in the same week. That for a Yorkshireman spinning tactics. <laughs> I, I came from Newton Hards. I was lucky because not only did I get that job at the print works, the house went with the job. And in those days, there wasn't a hell of a lot of building in Newton Hards. But uh, it's unfortunate that I left the print works, but it was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Things weren't just going right. Mm -hmm. Later on, after mm -hmm. I'd left about a year or two after, mm -hmm. it did close. It was taken over and then it closed. It had everything, that job, for me, mm -hmm. because I still had my studio still designing. But some days I could be going out and talking design with all the clients. So mm -hmm. I was a guy that either wore this, not a tie, which I hated, but I had to have it sitting in, you know, in the studios because all of a sudden I'd get phone calls to go and see a client, so I, I, I was kind of two different roles there, yeah. and of course uh, getting my students to do the work, yeah. design work as well. Mm. Went to <laughs> most of the print to the uh, people like also weaving company designs and and uh, McCall Allen in in Lurgan and places like that all. Which aren't about any longer, are they? Sorry, are they still about? I don't think they are. In actual fact, I mean the textile industry just collapse it was always on the brink but I think it did in a way collapse although you could still see Ulster weaving stuff around but it, it was just that things went wrong in the print works it was sad really so I played for Malcolm for 10 years best cricket I've played in my life and then when I came over here I'd only moved to Newton Hard the first week somebody knocked on the day and said believe you play cricket <laughs> I was playing oh, yeah. cricket on a Saturday yeah. that was me I think I'm now the longest chairman of any club in the Northern Cricket Union. Rab, Rab would tell you that. Of course he's played cricket for odds longer than me but I still, I played till I was 75 would you believe. My last match was at Sainfield when I was 75. I still coach the boys under 11s but I, I sometimes wonder about every season comes along and Anne says to me because Anne's younger than me she says uh, those, those lads will be saying this old bugger's back again you know and I, I do think you know but I, I enjoy it and they seem to, I seem to be a father figure to them, I think. And, uh, you know, they, I, I'll know when to give it up. But I, I, I'm sure I can't go on much longer. I mean, I, I'm 86 this year. So, I mean, I can get down for the ball, but I can't always get up. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in a cricket club dinner on last week, giving the cups out. And, uh, no, I still enjoy it, but I think you know when it's time. Yeah. It'll be the same painting, but... I mean, I knew, I knew, it's not like retiring. You know, okay, I'm... I'm been away from the university for what 25 years 25 years now 26 this year and i can't believe it. but you're busier than ever well i'm busy yeah <laughs> now i used to have one exhibition a year but i've been so busy being president of this and president of that, mm -hmm. that i don't really have time i need two paintings for the academy i need three for the art society although i might just put two in this year i need three for dublin and I need two for the watercolour society. Uh -huh. So you're talking nine or ten, I might have, you know, a fairly detailed, you know, That's I don't good. rush myself. I don't think I could. I, uh -huh. I'd like, there are people in the watercolour society that I wish I, I was painting like them. They look much quicker and much freer. Mm. And yet, I don't, I, you know, that's me, I guess. Yeah. And, and I mean, at my age now, that's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs>